There is no doubt about it, 2020 has been a difficult year for all those of us living with a serious illness or disability. We have faced an unprecedented and deadly pandemic with enforced isolation. The need to shield from months at home as our community links shut down was hard for all of us. This year many have also experienced the sadness of losing friends and family before their time. Yet, if you're watching this, you're still here. You've made it through this turmoil. This is something to celebrate. So take a quiet moment to look back on 2020 and be thankful you made it. Going into 2021, what your story share will still be here to document your experiences and collect your thoughts so we'll never forget this extraordinary time. Let's all hope that 2021 will be a better year. For instructions on how to make the spiced stained glass biscuits, please see the link below. After Dawn tried out the recipe, she gave us some feedback. The recipe was very straightforward but you do need to add more flour as it's too runny a mixture before you put it in the fridge. It's a great recipe to do with kids, I think. and the world's your oyster when it comes to shapes. Thank you, Dawn, for trying out our recipe. I asked Dawn about her Christmas cakes. She told me that she starts them in September so that they can drink up all the alcohol. And then, in November, Dawn adds the marzipan before she ices and decorates them. Dawn even supplies her local farm shop with the Christmas cakes every year. A COVID Christmas by Rebecca Williams. In a small town in Wales, preparing for a big shop, just one slot on Tesco, 95 items, that's your lot. There's a knock, dogs bark. They know someone's there. I know it's Tesco's. Of that I'm aware. Delivery of goods for you and me. What's that? Mince pies with some tea? Delivery man shouts, I'm still out here. I've got more goods for you all to share. He's standing outside in the cold and the rain. I tell him I'd offer him a tea, for our country's in pain. With that we are talking numbers and both in shock, that our numbers just keep going up, 
and won't stop. With that, I hear a gasp in the next room. The size of my gammon, look, this simply won't do. It's my Christmas meat you don't understand. Anxiety has grabbed me by both hands. I can't go to the shop. Covid hasn't stopped. They are ill and there are no more slots. The delivery man nods with a smile. Don't worry, dear. All will be fine. I'll reach out to Tesco. You'll get your meat. Two large gammons for your family to eat. Stop. Wait, it's okay. This will do. It's smaller this year. Added guests, only two. But tell Tesco, mark my words, I'll need that large gammon this time next year. A Covid Christmas by Rebecca Williams. On behalf of the What's Your Story team, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who's been involved this year. Perhaps you offered a creative contribution to one of our films, you might have taken part in a survey, or perhaps you watched and liked something. We really appreciate it. We know this year has been challenging, particularly for people with disabilities, and we'd like to continue our work next year as we document the challenges, but hopefully the good news of 2021. So please do watch out for call outs in January. Until then, we wish you the best Christmas possible. Nadolik Lawin, take care. <laughs>